Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Cancers. So this is going to be your weekly reading for your general energies and also for your love energies, Cancers. Let's see what's coming up for your general energies, guys, before we move on to your love energies for this entire week for your general energies, Cancers. How is your energy going to be for this week? One more shuffle. Okay, guys, for this week. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. I forgot to ask the questions. So, yes. How are people going to view you this week? How are you going to view people this week? And is there any surprising moment for the week for you guys? Let's find out. So for the first question, how are you going to view, I mean, how are others going to view you this week? Okay, for the second question and for the third question. So let me just explain. So this week is really going to be kind of, in your heads you're imagining a lot of scenarios you're just this person is going to keep imagining things okay going to be really imaginative you're not action oriented or that's how people view you maybe you just say a lot of things that you don't really mean or you're kind of like this person who's always voicing out your energies you're voicing out thoughts you you always speaking whatever you're thinking but you're not speaking what you're going to actually do or what you're going to actually convert into that action state okay people view you as a person who's kind of only talking and no actions regarding it okay maybe you might uh, say that you're going to do this do that you're just saying it okay you're not actually doing it uh, that's how people are going to view you guys i'm really sorry but that's energy that I'm getting. Or it can also mean you're very dreamy. You're always dreaming. And you're not actually in that practical energy, guys. Okay. You, you will be dreaming all the time. You will be into that dream state. You are not very practical. And you won't take life seriously. Or that's how people view you. Maybe you guys are not like that maybe the people around you are like that energies can be vice versa okay so take it as it resonates so that's what i'm generally getting for you guys okay so how do the people around you view you they view you as a person who's kind of stuck who's kind of always thinking and dreaming and nothing in action Maybe you are a person who's kind of active and all of that, but people around you may be viewing in a wrong way. It's just their views, right? Yeah. And they might also be jealous of your creativity. As I told before, you might be dreaming a lot. You might be getting a lot of dreams and all of that. And yes, you are creative at the same time. And people are going to admire that about you. And they're going to really like how dreamy you are, how expressive you are and this is a good time you can write stories with your imagination because I really think that you're going to be really imaginative, okay, this entire week. So you can use this week to write down any story that comes to your mind or using your imagination you can create a story or something like that, okay. Or write a song, you can use your imagination many different ways. So that's what I feel here for you guys. How do you view the people around you? You view as people around you as very helpful, but a little bit confused also. You view people around you as very loyal, very confused. At the same time, they are ready to help you at any time, okay? You just view people around you as very helpful personalities who are ready to help you no matter what the situation is, okay? So if you ask them for help even at 12 at night or like, to midnight, two in the morning, or if you 
just ask them for help at 3 4 in the morning they're going to just help you okay or you just feel like people around you are really careful with you they just love you in every way and they're going to help you and that's how you feel about others but don't trust these people too much because you might not like it okay because don't trust anyone too much guys it's good to stay in that energy but it's not really good for you to trust people okay don't trust people too much it's going to let you in that sick energy is going to make you come into that sick vibration so just don't trust people okay even though you feel like this about others doesn't mean it's right the same energy that i told for you even though those people are thinking about you like that doesn't mean you are like that that's how they view you okay i hope you get the energy that is just a perceived truth of those people not the real truth okay Again, with the Aries card, anything magical? I really think so because we have a lot of stars here. We have the Aries sign, but it has to do something with sacrifice, with golden fleece. Okay, so it has to do something with your dreams. So maybe you're getting a different job offer from somebody that you really wanted or you're getting some kind of job offers, guys. That's what I feel here. For some of you, it's job offers. For the others of you, it's just like something you've always dreamed of doing, something you've always dreamed of. It's just manifesting, okay? I really see that here because we have a lot of stars in a sense like it's so magical and something is going to happen. It's going to happen during the night. I don't know why I'm getting that, but during when the stars are there, this situation is really going to manifest when it's night, okay? Let's see what's coming up for your love energies. I'll be taking cards for your person's energies and for your energies, Cancers, okay? And let's just compare both of your energies. Two more shuffle. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. For your energies. For your person's energies. Okay, guys. The energies can be vice versa. So, take it as it resonates. Okay? Maybe your energies can be your person's energies. Your person's energies can be your energies. Or it can be reversed. Okay? So, just take it as it resonates. Because it's just a general reading. Okay? The cards you concentrate more on are your energies. I'm just getting that. Okay? So, for your energies, your this person feels that you're very mysterious. They feel that you're very emotionally stable you're a person who is filled with emotions and emotions you can get this love from everyone around you they just have this feeling that you're a person that everybody loves you have many friends and they feel like no one can stay with you or something like that that's what i'm getting here okay this person also views you as someone who is really into their emotions or who's really valuing how much they feel and how much because i see here with the princess of prince of cups if you can see this man here he's a fisherman i think so, i mean he is just filled with emotions and filled with water water in the sense i recognize water as emotions so yes he's just must in emotions and his cup is here filling with water and it's like pouring out down okay it's just like it represents that this person views you as a very emotional being but also a very fulfilled being a person who is filled with emotions a person who can give you who can give the love you always expect or they just have high expectations for you the expectations are top of the mountain for you okay that's what i see here with also the crow they feel you're kind of mysterious they feel you're magical oh my god cancers this person really has high opinions for you okay they're not going to let you down in any way they are not even if people are kind of giving them bad comments about you they're not like 
uh, saying anything good about you your person is going to step up and be like my person i know about my person i know they're like that i know my person is amazing and i don't want you to talk about them they're going to be so clear when it comes to you okay you're dealing with a very brave person i see here okay they're not going to let you down in any situation for your energies let's see for your energies cancers for your energies this week for your love energies you're just very much in tune with yourselves you're just doing whatever you have to do in life we also have uranus and we have the draco the nine of wands so you're just one step away from this committed relationship this person you must know is loyal okay this person is loyal you should understand that so if you're like really sick with this person or if you really feel this person is not loyal maybe they portrayed themselves as a cheat but i really think this person is loyal okay so that's what i see here again with the uranus here you might be spending a lot of your time meditating doing something creative or like you're just creative guys and you're going to even though things are not going to go right even though things are not going to turn right for you you're just going to make things right for you okay you're just going to do that you just feel your life is moving slowly you just feel things are getting slower in your day you just feel like you need that spiritual awakening that is coming for you okay so you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to worry just be imaginative like i told before you're going to be imagining the same energy you're going to be imagining a lot of things about this person and confusing yourselves but if they are loyal or not loyal and all of that so just don't confuse yourselves just don't be like that i think everything is going to manifest the way you wanted it to be so just don't confuse yourselves okay in any way because if you confuse yourself it's just your own bad okay so this is what i'm getting here guys let's see what is coming up when we compare your energy so for your person your person thinks that you are very mysterious you're very filled with emotions and you want this person to come back and you think that your person is not loyal and you're kind of imagining about things and you're just being distressed okay that's what i see here guys okay so thank you all so much for watching your lucky color for today cancers is purple and your lucky crystal for today is aquamarine bye guys see you all tomorrow